All right, so today's webinar, we're gonna be talking about the uh, grid display here and the carousel display. There are two popular ways that people often display their kind of showcase categories or uh, top categories on their website. So today we'll go over how you can set that up and get those customized the way that you want for your site. Uh, so then to do this, the first step is just double checking what widget areas you're working with. So you can decide where you would like this uh, grid or carousel to go. So under the snow dashboard to drop down here when you log in the upper left corner, just select design options. That's gonna open up this white window here and then select site designer on the tabs there. And then you'll scroll down to where you see homepage widget areas. And this is showing you the different areas where you can place widgets on your homepage. Uh, for more information about how this works, we did do previous webinars this year about the widgets and the site designer here. But most people uh, for the grid and the carousel, they like to put them up somewhere near the top of the page. So that's what we'll be working with today is this home top wide area. But this is always a good first step is just checking your widget areas and then deciding what area you want that widget to go into uh, so that you know where to add it once we go to step two, which is the widget control panel. And before I go there, I'm going to quickly duplicate my tab. Anytime I'm doing any type of design work, I always like to have one tab open to the reader facing side and then the other tab open back here to the dashboard side so that as I make my changes, I can easily see them reflected uh, what the reader's gonna see. So quick refresher to add uh, or move widgets. Everything on the widget control panel here is just a really simple drag and drop function. So if I wanted to add another grid, I could do that here. And as soon as you add a widget and drop it into the area where you want it to go, it's going to open up and show you the settings. So uh, if I added another grid, probably wouldn't want to do showcase because that's my current grid. And if you don't already have a showcase category, uh, some people choose to allow their grid or carousel to instead just display the most recent stories. I'll go ahead and select a different category, though. I'll select my news category. And then uh, with the grid here, you have a few options. You can do some exclusion. Uh, if I wanted to say I want to show news, but if I maybe had a news subcategory or I sometimes put uh, items also in showcase, I could say exclude items from a particular category. I can also skip the newest stories if that was something I wanted to do. Maybe if I have the grid further down on the page and I know my newest stories are going to show up near the top, that might be an option there. And then you've just got a few options of things you do, whether or not you want to display them, you can select those here. And then you've got your grid layout here. So right now, currently I've got a mixed size panel with one story on the left and four on the right here on my home page. So I'll show you with the second one, what equal size panels look like. And there you can set up your number of rows and columns that you would like to display. You can go all the way up to 100 stories. I would not recommend that, but that is kind of the upper limits there. Uh, but typically, you know, uh, probably between four and eight, uh, to 10 stories is probably a good size for that grid. You've got some controls. If you have uh, a category that's using all vertical photos, you could do that or a square photo. But by default, all of our photos are designed at the three to horizontal ratio, which is just what's gonna look best on your, on your page. And then you can increase or decrease the margin or spacing between the panels if you would like to adjust that. In the effects and design, you've got a couple options here. Uh, you can always show the text overlay. That's gonna be the headline. And then if you're showing the byline or date, you can show it on the hover, 
which means that when people hover over the text, they'll see those over the box, they'll see those things. Or you could choose not to show it at all, in which case people are only going to see the photo. You do have the option there to in whether or not you want to do that enlarge the photo on hover, which I do kind of have on my current grid here. And that's why we kind of see that little bit of animation, that slight zoom in when I hover over the photo. If you don't like that, you can turn it off there. You can also choose whether or not you darken the photo when text is showing on the mobile option or show the text by default on the mobile option there. And those are both available in the advanced design options. And if you have that overlay set up, you can select a certain uh, color for the text and background as well. Then lastly, you can choose whether or not you wanna show the widget title. Most people with these displays at the top of their page, the grid and the carousel, they choose not to show the widget title uh, because this is like the showcase or it's recent stories, they don't really wanna draw attention to that. If you're doing a grid or a carousel for a specific category and you would like to show that, just make sure that the hide widget title option is deselected there. So then it will show it. So now I've saved that setting. So now I'll have my second grid if I refresh my home page here. And see, I have that title there now. And these are the equal size panels, uh, just the way I set them up there. So that's how you can add a grid. Go ahead and get rid of that one there. If I wanted to add the carousel, up at the top there. I'll go ahead and just drop that in. Again, once you drag and drop that widget into the area where you want it to go, it'll open up and allow you to customize the settings. I'll go ahead and set this one to show the showcase category as well. So our settings on the carousel, a few things to be aware of here, and I'll, I'll just keep the advanced options open. If you're ever working on this and you uh, are looking for a setting that maybe you don't see, it might just be hiding because by default, it's just gonna show your basic designs once you place that grid, but you can always toggle those advanced options on or off. And just a reminder, if you're gonna have, if you are a, uh, student staff member, or if you're going to have any of your students do any of this work, you do need to be an administrator level user on the site to do any of this design type of work. All right, so we've placed our carousel here. I've selected a category. I can have that carousel show up to 25 stories, uh, but you know, I kind of think about how, how long is somebody actually going to sit there and watch things shuffle through. So I'll start off with just four stories here. Again, you've got that exclusion option I talked about. If you wanted to tweak that at all, uh, you can choose whether or not you show a deck, um, adjust your headline size. If you wanna show a teaser, you can show that as well. And then just a few other things you can toggle on or off there. And then the carousel design, text beside the image, pretty self-explanatory there explanatory there or text below the image, or you can do an overlay similar to that grid there. So we'll start with just beside the image. We'll go with a fixed height. And then the greater the height, the taller the photo. So kind of like the grid where we could adjust the settings for if we've got a category that's only going to have vertical photos. If you're using the carousel for something that's only vertical photos, I would definitely increase the height there. Otherwise, if you're using that three to two horizontal ratio, 400 is going to be a good height for you. With the carousel, you can do something kind of cool, which is extend it to the full browser width. We'll talk more about that momentarily. You can adjust where the photo is aligned there. And again, adjust your margin between things. And then change the background color if you would like to do that. So yeah, maybe we'll throw a black background on this one. And then make sure we've got the white text there just so it kind of stands out. You can choose whether or not your readers see the navigation buttons and the controls there. And you can show a thumbnail navigation row. And so we'll add that. 
just make a few adjustments here. Again, these are all pretty straightforward, just adjusting your margins and widths and things like that. Transition style, you've got two options there, a slide or a fade. We'll look at each of them here. And then three speed options for how fast that carousel is going to go. And on the transition, and you can choose whether or not it's going to auto scroll. And you can adjust how often it's going to scroll then. And so we'll go ahead and save this. Again, kind of like the grid, by default, the title is going to be hidden because most people aren't going to want to show that title at, for this for these display type widgets. So now we load this. There we go. So we've got my text over here. We've got my thumbnail row in the text area, and it's automatically shuffling. I've got my controls there. So make a few adjustments here. You'll notice it didn't really extend to the full browser width. And the reason for that is with the text below or text beside, you don't have as many options. Um, some people prefer these looks and that's totally fine there. If I were to use this, I'd probably increase my photo height there a little bit because I noticed some of my even horizontal photos are getting cut off. But the greatest number of options you have with the carousel is if you're using the overlay option here. So once I select overlay, uh, again, I can adjust different things like how dark that overlay color is, where the overlay uh, goes, We'll do the bottom here. And now I also have the option to adjust the number of visible panels on my carousel. So I'll kick that up to three. And so then I want my number of stories to show. I'll make sure that's a mul multiple of three. And now we save that and refresh. There we go. Now we get that extend to the full browser width. It's a I lightened up the overlay color so it's a little bit more subtle there. It's not a, as as dark there and it's shuffling through those different uh, stories there. I can You can add the thumbnail there. Um, notice though that, you know, it does kind of just uh, stop when it reaches that point. So if you're using your carousel to display a lot of stories and you're using the full width here, that might work. Otherwise, if your carousel's in my, maybe a narrower area, that might look a little bit better. But again, it's just kind of about playing around with these settings until you get the look that you're going for. Make a few more adjustments here. So now I've darkened that overlay a little bit. And so it shows, there we go. <clears throat> shows a little bit darker there. And then when you have the navigation buttons, that that's when you get the little dots underneath there and it shuffles all three stories at once. One thing I would definitely encourage you to avoid is multiple carousels right on top of each other. Because if you do that, then as you can see there, might be a little bit dizzying for your audience, uh, the competing animation there. So if you're gonna use multiple carousels, make sure that they are placed in such a way on the homepage that they're not gonna show up on the same spot on the screen so your reader won't see them both at the same time. Um, but yes, that is the carousel and the grid. A uh, great way to showcase to highlight your showcase category if you have one set up or just show your most recent stories near the top of your page 
or you can also add them in uh, further down the page. The carousel can go in, I believe, an area that's at least half the width of the page. Uh, as And I believe the grid can go in something as long as it's two thirds of the width of the page. Most of the time that we see them in these wider areas rather than, than more narrow areas. So again, that's the carousel and the grid, kind of our two popular display widgets there. If anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer those in the chat. Otherwise, thank you for joining me today and thanks for joining our webinars this fall.